Whew. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be installing all of these parts right here. ABS Dynamic Type R rear diffuser. Some side splitters that I found online, I think on eBay, can't remember where. And then, if you guys remember, on my SoCal Civic Honda Meet, Hector bought a PRL intercooler with everything. We'll be right back. I'm, I'm about to block my, my lady on Instagram real quick. <laughs> so, guys, just so you know, he was only supposed to buy these carbon fiber pillars. Yeah. Homie just walked out with a PRL in the cooler. And homie just never decided to install it. Because his birthday was last week, and this is technically his gift right here. So, I wanted to get him a couple more things for the car. That way it looks a little bit more sleek. You guys already know how I feel about the Type R rear diffuser, and I think it actually matches the sedan and coupe very, very, very well. This is probably going to be the first thing we do when we put on the car. Taking out the rear bumper is not going to be that hard, considering I've done it before on the coupe. I should be able to do this right here as well, so I'm not too worried on that. What I am worried about is this intercooler. I told him I'm, I'm going to try my best to get everything installed. I can't promise that I'll get it done today, but for sure, all of this is going in. That. I'm going to do my best as soon as I do this first. Okay, the bumper is off now. I'm going to be going ahead and start taking off all of these clips right here. So the nice thing about this guys is ABS Dynamics, like I mentioned in my other video, it comes with all the hardware needed. So we're pretty much gonna go ahead and fill it in right over here. And all we gotta do is put the bolts on and put the bumper back on and... So this is the nice part that I was talking about. The holes pretty much line up on this side. We just had to stretch it out just a little bit. But that's it right there. Once all these bolts are on, bumper's gonna go back on the car. That looks so much better. Oh, hell yeah, dude. It actually fit pretty good. And this one was a lot easier to put on than my coupe. I don't know why, it just was. So, I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to put on these mud guards back on, but I'll try to put them on if I can't then. Oh well, not a big deal. Next, we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and start putting on these side splitters right here, which fit pretty well for on the car. Like, I got these ones because I ended up giving Hector my old Pro Civic lip, which I think I'm, I'm going to get one of that, like, Fade Restorer. That way this doesn't look dirty and the back looks glossy, so it actually matches, if that makes sense. So one side is already in. Dude, that actually looks good. Now, I do need to drill into the bottom so it holds, because the 3M tape is not going to hold it all the way how it needs to be. This is just to, like, mock it up and whatnot. And afterwards, we're gonna jack up the car from the rear, and that should give me enough leverage to be able to drill underneath it. And then also, we're gonna do it from the front as well. Lip, the Pro Civet lip. That's the side one. It's pretty good. And the rear obviously is just dirty, but that looks good. Hell yeah. Everything looks good on this. Side, the side splitter to actually bring out the car too, and so does the rear. Damn. You see, if I had a sedan, I would definitely need this rear diffuser and the side splitter. Like, it just, a whole lip kit on the car definitely changes the look. This definitely looks so much better. Sheesh, kind of wish I had a sedan a little bit. <laughs> I'm just playing. And then obviously we still need to do the intercooler, which I need to go to Home Depot and buy a couple bolts. So if I could find those, then obviously this video will continue. If I can't find them, I might have to order them and we might have to pick up this video on another day. Okay, so this was a few hours later. I went to Home Depot already. I went to go get a couple bolts that I needed. 
Um, we're already in the process of taking the intercooler out. Obviously, you can see that we took the bumper off. I'm just not going to show as much as it is because like I mentioned before, this is not going to be a direct install video, but more of a me doing a little montage of putting everything on the car since I already did an install video on my 271 intercooler. So right now we're pretty much working on getting this rubber piece off, which is pretty much almost out. And then we're going to start disconnecting the intercooler. And then from there, we're going to start taking the piping and then go in reverse order. Check it out, guys. This is the PRO intercooler that Hector got. Um, he ended up getting it with a CNT intercooler piping. Again, shout out to my boy Ruben that hooked them up with this. But look at the piping right here. It was missing a few bolts, so I ended up having to go to um, Home Depot to get a couple of my own to make sure everything fits. So before I put everything on here, or pretty much before I took everything off the car, I ended up making sure that all the bolts fit and everything's nice and snug. So we're pretty much gonna go ahead and put everything on the car and just go from there. But I'm sure you guys have already seen comparison videos. This is a huge difference. You're gonna get some good coolant temperatures right there. So what I'm gonna pretty much do right now is take off these pieces right here and then we're gonna work our way backwards uh, with the intercooler piping. So kind of self-explanatory when it comes to all that stuff. I remember when I was doing this with my 271, it was a pain, but I should be good now that I did it once. All right, well, the piping is in. Just obviously not tightened all the way. Took us a while. This one was a pain. This, this one was just hard to get in, it usually is. Because it's CNT piping, looks like there's adapters that hook onto the PRL. By the way, this is the same, I know it's upside down, combo that Ruben used on his SI. So we know it's gonna fit. After, how long were we doing this? Since like this is a good, good while. That's not, not that long. Three o'clock. Okay, so everything is already in. All the piping is in, tied down. Sensors are in. I already put the intake back on, the street mask. So, CNT piping. You have to move it around. It is a tight squeeze. Like, this is not... That's fine. It's not going to go anywhere. I wasn't able to put this piece back on right here just it just would not line up it wouldn't line up it was like maybe half an inch off the ground from that so i'm not sure how the hell people did it with that but i was also but i was able to get the back one right here so that's in and then i'm pretty sure from the previous owner ruben you might have been rubbing on your horn right here i had to end up taking the horns out to put the piping in and then put it back on and bend it out a little bit but now it fits change out his filter before I forget <laughs> he has it in the back so last thing we're gonna do guys is swap out his old intake filter with the new one and that's gonna be it right there with the install damn get the keys that are in the cup over yeah well, look who's finally back in home oh, hold on let me open this fucking ton door how do you like the car? It's a big gap in VQs. <laughs> <laughs> so you raced a VQ on your way here? I did. Down Camino del Sol. Because <laughs> there was a giant ass accident on rice. What the hell? What? Bitch. What? You gonna spin it on my car? <laughs> Maybe. Hola. Hey. And the back one, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so fresh nut, too. Hola. Happy birthday. Hey, thanks, big dog. No wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Mario was helping me do it all day, so obviously. Out then, here in the fucking sun. Yeah. Hey, be glad we're in Ventura County, not fucking LA County. Yeah. Bro, it is hot. So I'm assuming you didn't want your real, your stock one, so I just threw it away. Yeah, no. <laughs> if you want it, you can go. Yeah, you stock. can go get it in the trash. That okay. was I was telling Mario, this looks good. That looks really good. Thanks, guys. Yeah, dude. Anything for the views? <laughs> I'll cry off camera. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely want to make this a better looker, so. Can't get you a downpipe yet, so. <laughs> nah. We'll talk I... about that in private. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks sick, dude. 
looks really good. It complements the the little password JDM gurney too. It does. It complements the entire car actually. Yeah. Like I like it. I really like how it is. It makes your car look a lot lower in the rear. It makes it look a lot more aggressive too. It does. Is this is the Type R one? It's the Type R one. Myra wet and wet and drove two hours to go pick it up. Target my ass. <laughs> <laughs> She said she went to Target, but she went to go pick this up for you. It was eighty dollars shipping. So I told her, let's just go pick it up. We'll spend forty bucks on gas. Nice. And she did it. Hey, Gokyum. Are you okay? Are you okay? Do you need to go eat food? Do you need to go to a race car? Do you want to go and play? Do you want pizza? Oh, you want a ball fuck. All right, guys. Anyways, bringing it back the next day. Um, we pretty much just chilled the rest of the day. We did do a few laps around the neighborhood. Not the neighborhood, but like we drove the car. Everything's fine. There's no leaks. Again, nothing bad on the CNT product, but I would probably not recommend anybody using that unless you get it for a really good deal like Hector did because the Fitbin was not the best, but we ended up making it work. Dude, that ABS Dynamics and the side splitter definitely brought the car up just a little bit more, at least I think, like, I, I really do genuinely think that the SI sedan and the SI coupe look really good with the Type R diffuser. It looks really, really good. It looks beefier, you know what I mean? And also, I'm gonna be installing the FlexView Tune within about two weeks on my car. I was just waiting on this. Check it out. This is the race mask from 271. I ended up getting this for about, dude, your tippy taps are loud. Call them. Sit. Thank you. I ended up getting this for about $80 shipped off of um, face, not Facebook, uh, Instagram. I literally just happened to be at the right place at the right time. I saw somebody selling parts for their 10th gen Civic. And I messaged him and he was gonna sell me this for about $50. I told him, hey, I'll give you $30 for ship if I have to drive all over there and back. And long story short, I ended up getting this for $80. I know the race math doesn't really do anything until you're a bigger turbo, I know. But I did not wanna miss out on this opportunity on getting that right now, only because trying to buy a new one off a 271 website, even I think off the PRL, it's like $200. Getting this used one from really great condition, for about $80 shipped. No brainer for me. So even if I do put it on or don't put it on, at least I have it for when I go bigger turbo. So uh, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you like that video, hit the like button. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. It really does help your boy out. And I'll see you guys in another one. You guys have a good day. Peace.